Do you remember these videos wherein the Pope not only claimed Jesus lied, he also stated that Satan was stronger than Jesus, or Jesus never resurrected, his crucifixion was a failure, the Bible is unreliable, or all Catholic students should stop preaching Jesus, and sins of the flesh were okay to commit, just to name a few. You know, it's statements like this that make it easy to declare the man of sin has been revealed in our lifetime. This Jesuit pope just stated that the Lord is not looking for perfect Christians. The Lord is not looking for Christians who never doubt and always flaunt a steadfast faith. When a Christian is like that, something isn't right, he assured. Because the adventure of faith consists of lights and shadows. Lights and shadows? That's ancient yin-yang theology, wherein it is taught that good and evil work together for the betterment of mankind. Satan's been pushing that lie for 6,000 years, but then, since we're so close to the end now, the devil, or his man of sin in Rome, can no longer keep their long prophesied agenda hidden. There's not a lot of time left. They just gotta go for it now. This is why the Pope and his prelates were caught holding a worship service to Satan himself in the Vatican back in 1999. They simply can no longer hide everything that they're doing for their dying God. Worse yet, now that the truth is out, and nobody did anything about it, the Pope has actually gone so far as to build a structure for holding large gatherings right next to the Vatican that is openly designed inside and out, as a serpent to glorify the image Satan has been using since the Garden of Eden when he first started lying about our Creator God. If you would like documented evidence about that Satanic Mass and how it was made public at the Fatima 2000 Congress by Archbishop Emmanuel Malingo, as well as Pictures proving the popes and the prelates of Rome do in fact worship Satan, as well as a few videos exposing all of this as fulfilled prophetic fact. Visit this page on my website when you get time. Since the end is near, the pope has to obey his dying God and do all he can now to glorify him directly before the ever-living God returns to take his obedient bride home. What the pope is once again saying to all the world is that our Savior, our Creator, and our eternal King, Jesus Christ, lied when he said what he did in Matthew 5, 48, which was, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Now it is true, you do not have to be perfect to seek or even gain Jesus as Lord. Once found, however, Jesus sends the Holy Spirit to work within us. And if obedient, you will become perfect. But for the Pope to claim Christianity is about working with the Lord and with Satan simultaneously, you know, like with lights and shadows, that's not Christianity. That is how Catholicism is defined, wherein you are saved while in sin. True Christianity is when you're saved from sin. And please remember this simple truth the next time you hear the Pope say such things as this. We have been taught in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Thank you for watching. God bless.